working on my abstracts. Four track mind is two eyes, two ears, quad perception, stereo and 3D. But maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? What I do know is video. It captures reality. And that is everything. The beautiful scenes we see and the situations we find ourselves in. It's all a part of a wide network of experience we share as human beings. And we can choose to look large, we can look small. We'll always find that there is no definitive answer, only a continuation of a glorious presence we call life. And I can let my thoughts glide effortlessly onto the page without really thinking about it. Please turn me till the message plays. Please do a such channel arall. Please turn me till the message plays. Please do a such channel arall. Please turn me till the message plays. Please do a such channel arall. Please turn me till the message plays. Please do a such channel arall. When writing these voiceovers, I think about timing and how they fit to image, how I edit my footage, keeping shots a standard length sometimes. Does it lend strength? It really depends on the shots themselves. If they are static, formal, then sometimes it's good that they are all the same length. But movement within the frame changes everything. Its very foundation is time. And with these thoughts on the moving image, I hope to be able to distill upon you some of the processes I go through.